Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to take a second to remind you, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like what we're doing and want to make a donation, you can do that via Cash App at American Made Channel. Now, let's jump into the video. After more than a week of deliberations, the jury in John Gotti Jr.'s trial deadlocked. Slit verdict, not guilty of securities fraud, but hung on other charges like the one that Gotti ordered his underlings to rough up New York radio talk show host Curtis Sliwa, alleged retaliation for Sliwa's on-air attacks on Gotti's mob boss father. Sliwa was shot by a masked gunman in a New York City taxi cab in 1992. I took on the Gottis and Gambinos back in the 90s when John Gotti Sr. was on trial for the last time. I was disparaging him on the radio at WABC. I had a, a segment called Mom Talk. People were saying, no, you can't talk about the mom. But first, they came at me with baseball bats. I continued to broadcast against the Gottis and Gambinos, and then he decided to uh, terminate that, make sure I never was broadcasting again. And just by uh, sheer luck, I was uh, able to avoid being chemically incinerated after being shot so many times. I got shot five times with hollow point bullets in a, in a moving yellow cab in the Lower East Side, and luckily I was able to jump out and avoid being turned into, uh, uh, well, let's just say the intended plan that came out in federal trial was they would take me to a chop shop in Brooklyn, East New York, and put me in a chemical vat and incinerate whatever was uh, remaining of me. And John Gaddy Jr., he, uh, he arranged it for his father. He's still out there in Oyster Bay Cove living the life of Riley. He was actually a horrible witness for the government, uh, but he was a good witness for the government when we called him, because that was probably his best show, was when we had called him. And, uh, you know, listen, get, getting on to Sliwa, Sliwa's a situation that's very unique. Sliwa was somebody that he hoped, he prayed, he needed the Gaudis to shoot him. That's what he needed, because you want, he built a career out of it. He was a nobody that nobody paid attention to. But once that had happened to him, once he had gotten shot, okay, he turned around and turned it into a radio career, making a half a million dollars a year, and he became a bit of a meteor darling. Uh, you know, the fact that he's irritated every entity in New York City throughout his career really was of little matter. But the fact that he cashed in on the accusation that the Gaudis had had him kidnapped and shot, well, that's a little different. And I've always ribbed, you know, I've always had Charlie ribbing for that and anybody else would come, come across him.